Welcome to SAP EVAP tutorials provided by Tutorials Point. So in this course we will be covering the basics of EVAP starting with introduction to ERP. So let's just see the agenda for this session. So first we will be covering the basic definition of ERP. Then we will be covering the typical business process model that was being followed before the advent of ERP. And then we will take some key inferences from the typical business process model. So let's just start. So ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning and ERP term is used for software that controls the whole organization's different different departments. Moreover, use of this particular package makes it possible to track and manage the real-time information of different departments, be it sales, production, finance, accounting and human resources. So there are some main vendors of ERP, one of them is SAP itself, then there is more Vendors also like Ban, JD Edwards, Oracle, PeopleSoft. So PeopleSoft is used in basically for small scale industries and it, it is specialized in HR module. And Oracle here, it is specialized in finance module. So SAP handles multiple modules like SD, sales and distribution, then production planning is there, material management is there. So similarly many other also. So, so now with an example, I will try to make you understand the typical business process model. So suppose there is a customer who wants to buy a particular product. So what he, what he do? He approaches the sales department to buy that particular product. So suppose the sales department goes to the inventory and the inventory department says that particular product is out of stock. So what it does? So it is going to the inventory and it is reverting back to the sales department that the particular product is out of stock then what it does so it goes to the production planning to produce that particular product so so to produce that particular product it needs some raw materials so this production planning department it is again going to the inventory department to find out if the particular raw material is there or not so in this case let us suppose the raw materials is also not there so it updates this production planning that the raw material is not there so then what the production planning department do? So it buys the raw material from the vendors. So it buys and it now receives the raw materials. So it forwards the raw materials to the shop execution floor. Now the shop execution floor produces that material and reverts back to the sales department here. And sales department gives the customer that particular product itself. So there must be some revenue generated so that revenue generated is, is reported to the finance department. Moreover, some cost might have been incurred to buy that particular product. So that is also updated to the finance department. And at the last, all these, these departments here are reporting back to the HR department for the resource related issues. So this is how a particular typical business process model is being followed. So now let us see what, are, what we took some key inferences from this business module. So we see a typical enterprise has different business units. So we saw there was sales and distribution module there and moreover there was production planning, inventory was there. So similarly multiple business units are there in an organization. So all these organization communicate with each other and for the success success of any organization it is needed that an effective communication should be there not only within the organization but also the third party vendors outsources and the customers so in this video we saw the typical business process model that was being followed and in the next video we will be seeing the different types of enterprise system softwares